All right, so what's going on there, everybody, in uh, YouTube land? Got to welcome y'all back to the game room. I'm Professor Joe Casey. Man, damn, it's it been over a week since I dropped something, so <laughs> I got some videos I'm working on, you know, I'm, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like to let too much time go by before I drop something, but I got like five videos I got in the pipeline that I'm, I should be finishing up this week, and I'm going to let them all come at one time. But uh, I had to stop what I was doing. And, and talk about the PlayStation thing, man. Um, and we we gotta we gotta look at this thing in its totality, and we gotta really understand what a great job Microsoft is doing uh, in this current generation. Microsoft literally saved the United States from a price hike, <laughs> and Microsoft <laughs> Microsoft really saved us from seventy dollar games. Like everybody was complaining about the seventy dollar games coming this generation. Uh, man, I've been enjoying this generation of uh, uh, gaming. I haven't paid $70 not one time <laughs> for a game. Played a lot of new games. All of that is thanks to Microsoft and Game Pass. And uh, I really see what Sony is, is trying to do. I see why Sony don't want that Activision thing going through because they don't want to be selling a $70 product called uh, Call of Duty while Microsoft giving it away for free. This is why Microsoft don't mind. See, a lot of people... I, I got to break this game down to y'all, man, because, see, a lot of people just think, oh, Professor Joe Casey, you just know about dealing with females, and you just know, no, man, game is game. The game is the game is universal, and if you if you really want to get technical, the game start, the, the whole game started with politics. Politicians. It, it's a trinket-down effect. So the politicians, they got more game than everybody in the world. They pimp, they mac, they hustle, they finesse, they trick off. They do everything. The politicians invented the game. And everybody else just playing their own little fair share of it. So you got Sony and Microsoft, they playing their own little game. And Microsoft like, man, we don't care if y'all get these, uh, we don't care if Xbox don't got no exclusives because we're going to give it away for free. So people going to want to play it over here anyway. And whatever you guys sell, that's just more money for us. And Sony is looking at it like, Man, these guys, they getting money hand over fist because they, they done finally figured out the game. And Sony just too damn stingy to just get on board. All they got to do is say, okay, all right, Microsoft, you got us. So we're going to do we gonna do the little premium thing on the little PlayStation Plus. We're going to make all our games day one. We're going to give our games away too. Everybody going to have a PlayStation, and everybody going to be happy like that. But this what, is this what, Sony, this what Sony done figured out. This is why I said when they were scalping, I said, man, Sony, nobody is enjoying the scalpers more than Sony right now. Because Sony already had this price hike in mind. And everybody is tripping, like, why Sony is raising prices on these PlayStation 5s? Like, come on, Sony just greedy. No, 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 no. Sony saw y'all paying $1,000 for these things. So if you can pay the scalp man $1,000 for it, you ain't going to have no problem giving Sony an extra $50. So Sony, Sony done figured it out, but they couldn't bring that to the United States. Because Microsoft is too strong over there. Microsoft, the last thing Sony want to do is give their PlayStation fan base, because this is where their strongest fan base is at, is in the United States. Give them even more of a reason to go pick up these Xbox Series S's and these um these Game Pass things, man. See, when when Microsoft was making those Series S's, guess what? They were using the same chips as the Xbox One X. So Microsoft could have put out just as many Xbox One X's as Series S's, but Microsoft wanted to make sure they had more of the cheaper option available because Microsoft was smart. Microsoft knew we're going to get a lot of Sony people to come over on this generation, not because we make better games, but because we offer the better value. Nothing, nothing that came out so far. I don't care if you talk about Ratchet & Clank. I don't care if you talk about that new God of War. Nothing been worth seventy dollars. Nothing nobody has put out has been worth seventy dollars. None of these systems. Even though you know I appreciate the the upgraded frame rates and all that stuff, that none of these systems been worth five hundred dollars. Some of y'all done paid a thousand for these systems. I know a lot of people who put all that money into them PlayStations when they first came out, and they look back at it now. They done paid a thousand dollars for the system. They probably bought like five or six games when it first came out. So. A lot of y'all, when PlayStation first came out, y'all invested like $1,500. Easy. You did not get your $1,500 worth. Even if you, I don't care how much you like Demon Souls or the Ratchet and Clank, you did not get your $1,500 worth. This system ain't even really start yet. 
So now Sony finally catching up with the inventory. They finally get ready to be able to put out as many, uh, you know, a system that they want to. So now Sony like, okay, bam, we seen what they did for the scalpers. Now that we finna get ready to start putting these systems in the stores, we got to go up on the prices so we can get some of this money. And they was hoping that Microsoft would fall in line, but Microsoft was too smart for that. Microsoft was like, man, we're going to get our money on the bike end because Microsoft understand what we doing. We're going to let you do what we did when we came out with the Xbox One. That's the game. See, Sony done put the money before the consumer, which I ain't mad at them. You know, it's a business, and, you, you know, you're supposed to want to put the money... <laughs> You know, the money is the number one priority, but you got to understand, man, you can't just keep squeezing people till they got nothing. You got to look at this housing market. How, how these prices getting ready to start going down with these houses? You can't squeeze the people till they got nothing else, man, because when the people ain't got nothing else, they're going to try to find different avenues. And the only thing Sony is doing is they pushing everybody over to Microsoft. Now, if Microsoft was doing the same goofy stuff, then Sony will be home free. Sony could... Take their games up to $70 with no problem. If Microsoft didn't have Game Pass and they were doing the same thing, Sony will win because Sony put out a better product. Sony can go up on their systems if Xbox was charging an extra couple of dollars for the Series X because Sony will win because Sony has the better product. But when you over here and you thinking just because I got the superior product, I can rape and I can pimp, um, <laughs> pilgrimage to people, and all that shit done, while Microsoft just sitting over here like, okay, yeah, 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 Sony got the better product, but look at all this stuff he putting out. It's like uh, like when you go to Walmart, and you see the name brand soap, and then you see the E-Crate soap, and you done tried them both, but you really can't tell the difference. You know, the name brand soap, they probably put a little bit, a little extra in there, but, you know, the name brand soap is $9, but this cheap E-Crate soap, I think that's what they call that Walmart, E-Crate, is $5. So it's like, okay, let me get the E-Crate, and then now I can take this four dollars and I can put that on something for dinner. It's I'm not really gonna know the difference. Let me go with the value. And that's what got Sony shaking in their boots. Sony is playing this game all the way wrong, man. And I'm surprised because Sony is, is the Japanese company. And on the Japanese, they supposed to be masters when it comes to the art of war. They supposed to have this shit down to a science. Why they they so busy trying to crush the competition. They not they don't understand how they doing it is the wrong way. What they did work for last last generation, but man, it's a totally different generation. Microsoft is literally trying to give shit away. Microsoft is literally buying tons and tons of games and putting them out day one on Game Pass. So it ain't even you ain't even just gotta worry about, okay, well, Microsoft got shitty games. Okay, cool. Well, Microsoft, like, we're going to go buy other companies and pay them to put their game on Game Pass. It's going to get to the point where people are going to literally start paying Microsoft or uh, letting Microsoft put their games on Game Pass for free because Microsoft is like the Drake of video games. You know, you know when, <laughs> you know, every time Drake hits somebody with a good song, Drake hop on it and, and make it a hit. Like Drake say, you know, uh, uh, anytime Drake get on a song, man, your shit gonna, is, is going to go to top ten. So it's like any game that go on Game Pass, it's gonna everybody gonna know about it. Even if it's a, a shitty game, it's gonna blow up because it's on Game Pass. It's free, and it's in a huge ecosystem, and everybody gonna know about it. So I don't know why Sony ain't trying to take that and run with it and, and start putting games on PS Plus like that, make their stuff just as big. Sony just don't like people enjoying their products for free. Just like when Sony came out with the PSVR, they cut the internet access off. So you couldn't even use the PSVR to view VR content on the internet. Sony is just anti-consumer like a mug, and they gonna really, I'm telling you, they gonna turn themselves into the new Xbox One. When Xbox One came out and they were like, we not gonna let nobody use no used CDs. See, Xbox did a whole 180. It went from, we don't want you guys sharing games for free to the hell with it. We just going to give y'all all the games. So they, when they came, they, they did a whole 180. It used to be, we don't even want you playing used games on the Xbox One. Now it's just, hey, man, we're going to give you Game Pass, play all you want. You ain't, matter of fact, you don't even need no Xbox, man. You know, play this shit on your phone. I don't care. Just pay the $15 a month and, and, and play to your heart content. There's no better value in gaming right now other than Game Pass, man. And Sony is really shooting themselves in the foot. Not only did they not do a Game Pass, 
but they took the prices of their games and they hiked it up an extra ten dollars. Games that was already expensive as hell. Not only did they uh <laughs> you know not do a game pass, but they're taking the value of their consoles and they're taking it up an extra $15. They knew damn well that you cannot come to the United States and do that shit. Xbox too strong over here. See, Xbox weak in all those other areas that they doing. See, now, they, they smart on that. They smart on that front. They said, okay, we're going to go where Xbox weak at, and we're going to make them pay the extra price or whatever, whatever. So I don't know. Maybe they trying to just get all this extra money up so they can start paying companies and putting it on PlayStation Plus. I don't know. I don't know. But it still should not come at the expense. This is what Sony does. It should not come at the expense of the consumers. The consumers is already paying for your product. They shouldn't have to pay on top of what they're already paying for you to do what you're supposed to do. This is why Microsoft is going to end up dominating this shit, man. Sony is too anti-consumer. It gets to the point where I don't even know if I want a PSVR no more. I don't even know if I want a PS5. I'm just, I might just wait until the Pro come out. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to wait until the Pro come out. Because I know, I'm seeing it. I went to the GameStop the other day, and um, they had PS5s in the store. They were like, they had the bundles. It was like $700, I think. So you got two controllers. I, I said, I don't even want that shit. I like, because I done went two years waiting for it, and it's still nothing on there that I'm I'm looking at. Like, okay, man, I got to play this. I got to have this. I mean, it's like I got more than enough shit. New stuff. Just looking at that Xbox One X. And that Series X. And you know, and I and I got I got 30 PS5 games and I still didn't want it. So I'm just I'm gonna wait till the pro come out. By the time the pro come out, I'll probably been build my collection up to like 80 PS5 games, depending on what I can find for five dollars, cause I'm not paying no more than five to ten dollars for these shits. But uh yeah, man, it ain't like it ain't it's, it's it's not even that big of a deal for me, but Everybody looking at Sony like, why Sony going up on the prices? Because they already saw you dummies pay a thousand dollars for the goddamn system. So if you would pay the scalper man a thousand, hell, why not pay us five fifty? So that's, <laughs> I. <can laughs> but you don't do that if the competition not doing that. That's that's the only thing that got me scratching my head. If I don't see Microsoft doing that, if I don't see Nintendo doing that, then I'm not gonna do it. I would have had a meeting with the three big heads of the, of the gaming industry, and I would have I would have sat down with all three of their ass, and I would have been like, all right, Microsoft, I know y'all losing money on y'all consoles. Nintendo, I know y'all losing money. So what y'all want to do? Let's just go up $20, $20, $30, and everybody, we just all go up. So, you know, can't nobody be mad at me. Can't nobody be mad at you. Can't nobody be mad at you. Hell, we all did it. You know, it's the cost of business. So everybody know we in a pandemic. So ain't nobody going to be ain't nobody gonna be looking at nobody crazy if we all do it. But now, nah, son to say the hell with everybody else, I'm going to do it. And Nintendo, y'all don't want to make this money? That's on y'all. But, man, man, Christmas time coming up, man, these motherfuckers, they going to buy these consoles. They're going to buy them. And, okay, Microsoft, you want to give away your games for free? That's on y'all. Well, man, I'm finna put this God of War out, and I'm finna sell this bitch for $70. I'm finna get every last dime out of this thing, man. And I just don't know how you PlayStation cast deal with that, man. I don't, like, I just don't know. So much money, like, to be a fan of PlayStation. God. Like, I, I literally haven't bought one Microsoft game since uh, this new generation. I just bought the consoles, and I'm happy. <laughs> I am I'm happy with Game Pass, man. <laughs> I got no complaints. I got no damn complaints. I I did buy some Series X games, but they came from GameStop and they was on some four for twenties. So I got them for five dollars. But I got no complaints when it comes to this uh this this new generation. With, at least for Microsoft, you know, I don't got no PlayStation Five, so I can't really speak on PlayStation Five. But when I'm looking at how they doing y'all on the money, I'm cool. I'm cool on that, man. Sony just, man, they they just straight about that bread, and they don't give a damn who get mad, and they don't care who get in their feelings about it. Man, Sony just about that dollar. I just, I don't know how, like, I don't know how, if you a Sony fan, but I don't even know how you can defend that shit, man. I, like, I don't really, I don't even know, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to get that PSVR 2. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to see what Crest do. I'm going to see how Crest compared to it. I'm going to see if Crest can come out with something a little bit more powerful. Because if it's a cheaper alternative and I can get the same type of results, then I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that because, you know, hey, man, you can't just throw something at me and be like, okay, just buy it, buy it, buy it for, for uh, name recognition. No, I don't do that. As a consumer, I go for the best value. And I don't think Sony understands that. I think Sony just think that they just... 
that they just the kings of gaming and you know they could just put whoever support they shit through whatever they want to put put them through and like I say, man, that them cats, if they cool with that and they can vibe with that, they can get jiggy with that, then, hey, man, more power to them. But uh, when it comes to goat casing, nah, I, I need the best. I, I, I try to stretch my dollar, man. I try to stretch my money like limos, you figure, Dallas. But uh, that's all I want to say, man. That's just my little rant, man. You know, I'm going to go back to editing the other videos, and I'm going to try to get on y'all as soon as possible. But y'all be cool on your stool. Understand the kicking with two peas in the pot. They ain't cooking at the stove ain't hot on goat casing, and I vibe with you.